Okay, uh, so here's what I found out. Uh, this cylinder head uh, just got uh, installed not long ago. Um, I can tell from the uh, cylinder head gasket that I got uh, from uh, from the car. Uh, it's still in uh, almost brand new condition. So this is what I found out. Um, the the car, uh, the cylinder head, uh, the cylinder head just got resurfaced. So that's a good thing. It doesn't need to go to the machine shop for uh, resurfacing, but I can maybe take it for a valve job and uh, for the carbon cleanup. Okay. Um, it had a brand new uh, cylinder head gasket right here, but uh, he uh, reused the old uh, exhaust gasket. The old one, he just cleaned it and uh, reused it. And he also used, also reused the uh, old uh, studs and bolts. Okay. Uh, also, here's what I found out about the turbo. So the turbo needs to be replaced. Um, this one here, I think this is the big, the big one. Okay, so the the problems that I found with the car, uh, the first problem is this one. Um, this one is loose like this. Um, this is not loose. This is not loose. Uh, this one I broke it. Uh, so it was not loose till I broke it. So, but but when I got this out, this was the only one that's playing this one and this is one two three four cylinder number two was misfiring because of this okay uh, if we look here we have a brand, brand new chain brand new guides except this guide here even brand new uh, tensioner so this guide is the only one that the mechanic decided to do a shortcut and uh, did not replace it did not replace it um, from the color you can tell which one is you know so this brown here is supposed to be the same color so this chain is new I'm not gonna mess with it um, but I'm going to replace this one I'm going to put a new uh, guide here and uh, this one is new this is new this is new the chain is new so I'm not gonna mess with that except this one, I'm gonna replace it. Okay guys, so I found out what was the reason of the misfire. When I uh, first uh, removed the, uh, the cylinder head uh, uh, cover, I found out that this part here, this slope, uh, was, uh, was moving sliding just like this was sliding just like this freely just like this uh, just like this one also and just like uh, the fourth one okay so and all of these three number one two and three they were fixed just like now so the opposite of what you see now uh, number two now is fixed because I fixed it and I busted these to demonstrate and show you what was the problem and everything because at the very beginning I didn't know I didn't know if this was normal or not for this to be sliding but actually it's not supposed to be sliding it's supposed to be fixed like this so now how to fix this is actually easy um, so if you look here uh, if you look here I don't know if you can see it but yeah right there if you look here this is all what you have to do you have to put this one inside and then you're gonna need a stopper
Luckily, you can uh, you can call Audi and order the, these parts and, and, and buy them. And just so that you know, this little spring costs twenty-three dollars, and this one is like a dollar fifty or sixty. I can't remember, but this one alone, twenty-three dollars. So to install it, all what you have to do. If you can't see, I'm sorry. You have to place the ball just like that, and you're gonna need a piece of wood, just like this, and make sure that you're gonna make sure you can uh, you're gonna press and don't lose it. You do not want to lose it because it will fly like crazy I got it all right you see I just I just installed number one just like this number two is installed now so I still have I still have one ball one spring but I'm missing one ball and one spring and that was the reason there was misfire on number two because it was missing so I'm going to install these two now and when I receive the other parts or when I get them I'm gonna install them again and uh, stay with me I'm gonna install this one also and I will show you how I do it so here's what you do you wanna okay maybe that's better maybe right here so you just place it like that okay you wanna place the ball right here as you can see it uh, you see it uh, uh, leaning towards uh, the, the ground because the camera is actually leaning towards the ground that's why uh, but you wanna have it you wanna have it uh, even uh, you want to use a small piece of wood like this do not miss the ball if you miss the ball it's gonna fly like a bullet so all I have to do is press on the ball and make sure you do not lose it that's it I just installed number three so now I have three good lobes. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, number one, number two, number three, and number four now is sliding. If I install this one just like this, it will be misfiring at uh, number four. To install number four, spring and ball, you won't be able to see this hole unless you combine number four and number three and push them this way okay when you push them this way you're actually going to remove number three from its place but because you're not giving it a chance because you're combining this with this one if I separate them what's gonna happen the uh, the spring and the ball for number three will fly do not do that so this one you push all of them this way till you see this this hole here you install number four and you push both of them that way for now I don't want to risk it all I'm gonna do because I, I don't want to risk number three losing the ball and spring what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take both of them in one piece and push them that way and this will do will make number three go back to where it should be uh, with the ball and spring in place if I don't do that if I ever separate these two the spring will fly and the ball so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep them I'm just gonna take both of them down I 
think I just... Here you go. Okay. Very good result. Thank God. I'm not a mechanic. I just understand a little bit of physics. And that little bit of physics that I understand helped me. I've never seen this. No one ever taught me how to do this. No one ever, ever talked to me about this. And this is the first time I ever see this one in my car. So, with that being said, all what you have to do, use your mind and use your logic. That's all. So now, all right, I will explain more when, I, when I'm ready to install number four. But again, going back to the same thing, the cause of the problem was a missing ball and spring from number two and that was the cause of uh, the misfire.